Hello everyone, welcome to 30 Something Beauty. I'm Cassandra Thompson, your 30 something makeup loving, Nordstrom haul loving, uh, normal gal making videos for other 30 somethings here on YouTube. And I am coming to you from a totally different location. We are still in my bedroom, we are just on the floor because it was the easiest way to film this. From where I sit to do makeup stuff, it just didn't work. Let me know if you like floor videos. I had to move everything around for this, but let me know if you like this. If you remember when I was in my old apartment, we sat on the floor a lot. So, if you like it, let me know. Maybe I'll do more videos from here. Uh, but that's not why we're here. We are here for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Now, I did a live video a week ago, kind of going through the details of the sale, so you can watch that there. It's live, so it's a little rough. Um, but pre-sale is still currently going on as of when this video is posted and that means you have to have a Nordstrom card to shop then it will be open to everyone on July 20th now I cannot guarantee that by the time you go to buy this stuff if you like anything I recommended that it will still be available there was a dress from the catalog that sold out on the very first day of pre-sale online so just note and of course now I have the cups. Just know that. So I will do my best. Um, everything is still in bags. I brought it home. I went on Thursday, the first day of pre-sale, unless you were level four, you got a special day before that. But first day, uh, and I dropped the bags and went to sleep and then went to work and stuff yesterday. So I have not taken anything out of bags since I got it. So I have a feeling I'm gonna go, oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I got this. But. I digress so let's just get into what I bought um, and let me know your thoughts everything I'm talking about will be linked in the comments straight to Nordstrom so it should be super easy for you if you're interested in anything so let's start with this bag first and just get it out of the way this is the pair of shoes I bought I bought two pairs of shoes which I thought I was gonna come away with like four or five pairs of shoes a lot of them when I saw them in person I didn't like them or they didn't fit quite right but I ended up buying these these cute boots from Blondo they're just a nice tan they get a little bit darker on the front which I really like um, like a little more weathered in they are the most comfortable boot I've ever worn in my life so they have I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it they have this like foam padding on the inside all the way through so beyond comfortable. I think that's partly why I didn't end up buying other shoes is because I tried them on and here feel like the hard bottom and then I would try these on. So good. And not that this matters much in Southern California, but Blondos are waterproof. So if you are in a rainy spot, um, these are waterproof. So that's so great because you can still look so cute with your nice cute little booty at the same time. You don't have to worry about them getting damaged. Has anybody else ruined boots before? I have. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a beauty thing right away. I, I loved that this was part of the beauty stuff. This is from Sigma, and this is the Total Comple Complexion, com oh my gosh, I can't talk. Total Complexion Kabuki Brush Duo. So this, is two of Sigma's brushes that I have heard so much about. It is the flat kabuki brush that it says achieve an airbrush foundation finish and then the 3D HD, great, we're using camera terms, uh, which achieves sheer buildable foundation quickly using the unique angles. And I know people who used the 3D brushes, be it this one or another one, said they were really surprised by how good they worked and Sigma brushes, it's a $50 value, it's $33. Sigma brushes in general um, are pretty affordable for what you're getting, but $33 for two foundation brushes? Get over yourself, like that's crazy. So it feels, it's a not quite as soft feeling on my face as I thought it would be, but I'm excited to play with these and like, How's it gonna work? Let's see what happens. Um, so very excited about 
trying both of these out because I do, I like a foundation brush. I know you see me use my beauty blender most of the time, so you're probably like, what is she talking about? But I really do, I like a foundation brush. Let's do another pair of shoes. I'm gonna do clothes last. Um, so the other shoes I got, these I thought were super cute. I needed some new nude pumps and these have this cute little wave to it as well as these little studs. And I'm not normally a fan of things like studs, but this is just so simple and like blends in so nicely. I really, really liked them. Um, they run really big. So I am normally a seven and a half or an eight. Oh, that's a good angle. Here guys, can you see it? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get up and show you. I am normally a seven and a half or an eight. I am a seven in these, but aren't they cute? So cute. Okay, one last underwear type thing and then we'll move on to more makeup. I also got a pair of Spanx. These are the, they have tons of Spanx and tons on sale. Power Conceal Her Mid Thigh Short. So I do really like these. Um, I have nude, so I thought this year I would get black. I just kind of buy one a year and like, you know, over time grow my collection because I don't wear these every day, so it's not a crazy thing. Like, they'll last a really long time. This is normally $60. Now granted, Spanx are miracle workers, so you know, I get it. They're normally $60, but they were on sale for 40. So really, really recommend these. Um, if you want the one that's full body, or like, well no, they do have the one that's completely full bodysuit, goes all the way up, that's on sale, as is the one that comes like all the way up the waist, so it super sucks the waist. These are just more here, short down. Now you know. Okay. I already think I'm returning this next thing, but let me know your thoughts if you have this. Okay, so I picked up the Dermaflash. This is the Dermaflash Facial Exfoliation and Peach Fuzz Removal. Um, and I believe it comes, it comes with the Pre-Flash, which is essentially their cleanser. And then you use the Dermaflash and then their Post-Flash, which is their like skin treatment. I bought it because I'm very curious. I love like facial exfoliation. I do remove peach fuzz, I'm trying to open it. I do remove peach fuzz with just like a twinkle um, kind of brush. I've heard people talk about this a little bit on YouTube, but I hadn't heard enough. I was afraid it would sell out, so I was like, okay, let me just buy it, and then I will see later if it's worth it or not, um, and read up more. So this is how it comes, and I believe you get more blades. The crazy part to me is that it says you're supposed to throw away that blade after one use. One use. And it comes with four. So every month I'm stocking up on more blades. That's crazy. And today I used a feather single blade on my face and it did the trick just fine. So I'm thinking I could save $126 and this is going back. But. If you have tried both and you think it's worth it, please leave me a comment and let me know because I'm not rushing to send this back immediately. So let me know what you think. Okay, the last two makeup goodies that I got. They they beat me down. The Super Goop Invincible Setting Powder SPF 45. It's a brush and it comes with this translucent setting powder. And when I was at Create and Cultivate, the girl brushed it on my hand and it's the softest thing on the face of the planet. And it has sunscreen in it. And I have been talking myself out of it all summer. Um, so you get it down there and then you get this pop-up brush. Oh, 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 okay, so you push. You push it down to pop it up. And then you just, Okay, so it says you pop it up. I'll scoot closer for you. Tilt and tap gently until the powder comes out. Okay. <laughs> Remove and discard the plastic pin in the middle. I wondered. Okay, I just removed the whole brush. I wondered, I'm like, oh, that's going to hurt your face to have that on it. Okay, so now. 
There we go. Okay, so a little powder finally came out of my hand and then you just swirl around and it is just the softest powder. Now, I was in a Sephora and I watched as this powder got a little crazy because there's nothing to stop it from continuously coming out. But, so for $24, it was like, I don't know if I want to do that. But this set was $40 and you get two refills. So I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. So I'm just gonna keep this in my purse at all times and then throughout the day when I get a little oily, just use it as my touch up. And then I don't need my Laura Mercier powder and my little brush for it or little sponge for it. It's just this, bloop, bloop, bloop. And it's a beautiful, beautiful powder. So $40, two refills, that's amazing. Sorry it took me so long to figure it out. So Stila did a Nordstrom anniversary exclusive of the glitter and the glitter and glow and the shimmer and glow. And before at the holidays and even since Sephora is still selling it, there was a $25 set of just shimmer and glows in minis or just glitter and glow in minis. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll use them that often. I'm not sure. So then they came out with this set for $35 and it's three full size. Three full size, two glitter and glows, one shimmer and glow. I cannot tell you how excited I am to try these. So let's just test on our hand in case you for some reason haven't seen these yet. That's beautiful. That's just gonna be such a gorgeous tan color. That even I say, I would say you could use like, that too could be beautiful highlighter on body. Okay. I'm not always a glitter person, but I'm curious. Okay, so that's chunkier than I thought it would be. People made it seem like it comes out in this beautiful, do you see that line? On camera, I think it looks like, oh wow, it's this beautiful line of glitter. On my hand, okay, it just needs to be blended out. It blends out to prettier. So there you go, that's crazy. This one I actually think is the most wearable. It's kind of like a taupey glitter. Smoky Storm is what they call it. So it's that one. I mean, those are pretty. Oh, let's try, hold on, let's try Smoky Storm over, do they combine? Because I think over the shimmer one. This was my splurge thing that I'm like, I've just got to try it. It's such a good deal. I want to try them. So very, very, very excited about these. And now I need to go wash my hand. Hold on. Okay, then home items. Corksicle, which yesterday I heard somebody kept calling it corkical. And I'm like, do you not get that it's a play on icicle? And there is a C there to tell you it's sickle again. Okay. Corksicle makes these tumblers. And I, you guys, I have wanted this pink thatched one. It's been at a store in LA. Like there's a boutique, like independent boutique store that I go into in LA that has had this tumbler for months. And I have thought about it for months, but I just could not pull the plug and spend $40 on it. And then I saw it was at the sale and it's legitimately the exact same one I wanted because now I can put my coffee in this and I don't need special ice cubes. I do iced coffee every morning. Um, and so I can take my bulletproof coffee to work without having to use the giant ninja tumbler um, or using my swell bottle and having to do special ice cubes for it. Excuse me as I'm like, let me break it open right now. So it's this, I want you to be able to see the full color. So that's it, super cute, good tumbler size. They make one that's actually one size bigger than this too. It's insulated, so it'll keep it hot or cold, but this one's great for cold drinks. And then it's got this clear lid that has the little release. So you can put um, a straw, it's big enough that you could put a straw in there or you can just sip it. Totally in love. This is. My mom kept making fun of me because this is truly the thing I'm most excited about. I was like, I got my corsicle. 
So this was $21 instead of $40. Um, so yeah, I'm in love. I might pick up more of these as gifts because I this might be one of my favorite things this year. At Christmas time, I will do a Cassandra's favorite things because I lived for that Oprah special every year. Now that it's just in the magazine, it's not the same thing. Um, but I live for that special every year, so I will probably be doing my own Cassandra's favorite things at Christmas time. This will most likely make it. What else will make it? I didn't buy one this year because I didn't need one. I tried to find a way to justify it. This is the super soft blanket, guys. I talked about it last year. I raved about it in last year's video. I will put a card to that video because a lot of what I bought in that video, there are still versions of this year. But this blanket, Nordstrom puts on sale every year. And it is the, so sorry, I keep looking at the monitor because I want to make sure you can see the blanket. This is the softest blanket you will feel in your entire life and it costs $25. At sale, it costs $25. Regular, it's like $35. Like this is crazy affordable, not even for Nordstrom, but for at Nordstrom, this is like they're practically giving it to you. Softest blanket you will ever feel in your life. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with one very, very, very soon. So I have one to give away to all of you, but this is just beyond the softest blanket you'll ever see. So. Highly recommend picking this up. Somebody asked me, like, you keep talking about it, but you don't say what it is. I think it, I took a picture when I was at Nordstrom. Yes, it's the Bliss Plush Throw. It literally says on it. Bliss Plush Throw, exceptionally soft. Uh, yeah, you guys, they used the correct words. It's exceptionally soft. And it's just Nordstrom at home. It's their in-house brand. $25. It comes in a lot of cute colors this year. It comes in way more colors this year. So go pick up one of those. I will link to it in the box, in the description box below too, because it's just the best. So here's the thing with clothes. I have no good way of trying things on and showing you. It's just kind of a hot mess in here. I don't know how I would be able to show you what I'm thinking, like what it looks like on. Um, so I'm going to show you stuff and kind of lay it out, and I hope that's good enough. I'm sorry. If there's something that you're like, I want to see it on, let me know, and maybe I can put it on Insta Story. Maybe I can figure out a way later and put it on Insta Story for you. Cass Thompson Beauty. 30-something um, Beauty was taken. So yeah, we'll try that. It goes again to my theory with the sale of buy it and if you don't like it you can return it because you're gonna see there's one thing in here I don't it's real fun but I don't know where I'm wearing it okay so first this is like real chill and casual but it could be it shockingly could be dressed up so this is dressed it looks like a nice gray sweatshirt it's really really soft material try and back up a little now we got to back up so you can see the clothes um, it's really soft material. It's like a heather gray. It's got this little bit of like, oh, it looks like you have a t-shirt on underneath. Okay, so this is just like nice running errands on a Saturday, going to a friend's for a movie kind of thing, like to watch a movie, that sort of thing. But it's got this super cute back detail. Look at the super cute back teal, and then it does this cut with the back. And I love anything with a back deal, so I was super excited by this. Um, it looks real casual, but it was really surprising. When I tried it on, it was like, if you added some jewelry, this could look, and it's hard on camera, this could look like an outfit. Like this will automatically look put together and like you got an outfit on. You could wear it with your Converse to the grocery store, you could throw on some heels and some jewelry and I swear it'll be dressed up. It's hard to imagine, but I swear it'll look dressed up. Plus, it's just the most comfortable thing ever. And what I've noticed is anytime I wear anything with a back deal, like a back detail, people freak out and are like, oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing ever. Where'd you get that? That's adorable. So, love this. I'm like, I wish it weren't 112 outside so I could wear it. This, this is Vince, Con oh, and that was from, that's just Caslon which I know, I feel like sometimes it's a little old for me, but sometimes they just make good pieces. So, 
This is Vince Camuto. It is a sweatshirt material shirt. It's got a nice like, you know, banded bottom so it'll hold there. I picked this up and was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it on, but I'm gonna try it. So it's got these plaid sleeves. These are not sweatshirt material. This is like a button down shirt, like a cotton. Um, and then the N, it was so cute on. <laughs> like I tried it on and went, oh, oh, never mind. That's adorable. Like, and it totally works for business casual environment. Um, but yet you're in a sweatshirt. So great, right? Um, so, oh, excuse me as I lose the hanger. So that I'm obsessed with. Love that. Okay, my 30 somethings. This one and my 40 somethings. This one's for you. I saw this dress in, bra in black. Oh my gosh. Okay, I saw this dress in brass plum and I couldn't help myself. This is a baby doll dress from the 90s, right? Like the, the tiny floral print the waist right there, the V-neck. This is a baby doll dress. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could be Donna Martin in the college years of 90210 in this dress, like, or Kelly Taylor, let's be real. Um, so I know you can't see my head. So it's, it. so I bought it for that reason. It's got the, I mean, it's even got, you guys, the button detail going down it. This is so from the 90s. Um, it's from 1060 Sherman. I got a large because it's in Brass Plum. It's a $36 dress. I put it on and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Now I'm not gonna wear my Doc Martens with it. Though I'm tempted to because I still really enjoy that look. Um, but it's such a cute dress. So I was super excited by this. I kinda, I might go online and see if they have more of them in different patterns because that's all they had in store. But I really liked it taking a turn the total opposite direction let me button it back up this is from halogen and this is just a nice straight line skirt it's plaid but it's got blue detail in it um so really really like this so pitch that up okay next piece this one you would think oh it's on here backwards you would think might be a little bit old ladyish looking, but on it actually looks really cute. I just think with tiny florals, it's like very much kind of hard to gauge is, is it on trend and cute right now or does it look old lady? And this is kind of an uh, illustrated floral. This is just from Caslon. This is the front. Um, it's ruched right here comes down very lightweight material it's got like this detail of a swirl kind of going through it on the rack this could look like no who that's younger is going to wear this but on and then it's got this button detail on the back on it actually just looked like really cute and summery just like a very cute summer little top to just throw on and go places um and it looks put together like i could wear this to work I could wear this um, out with friends, you know, going to dinner, somewhere casual. So, and it's super light. So I was actually really surprised. Um, I picked it up just to see, and then when I tried it on, I was like, oh no, it's cute. It's not old ladyish looking. And it was $42, $43, it's $42.90. Um, so still a little, I don't know, depending on who you are, you might be like, it's a tank top. Like, it's a shell sleeveless top really but it kind of on its own with this and a pair of earrings it looked like an outfit because it's got so much detail on it so I liked it I'm excited about it well it's that time again folks barefoot dreams cardigan time now it is amazing I'm feeling this and I'm like yep it just feels different than my one from last year because the one from last year has now been used these are just if you don't have a barefoot dreams something splurge on yourself they have three different versions this year they said there are only two i saw three um different colors this is the gray they are just the softest in the whole world this is the cardigan but i like that it has the hood 
and it has pockets. So if you're wearing it around your house and you are like me and keep your phone on you at all times, uh, you can leave your phone in there. And I love hoods, so I'll throw the hood on. Um, but I just, oh gosh. Between this, I mean, really, my dream in life is just to pretend I'm on the inside of a stuffed animal. Like, I'm just with this on, with this around me, and I don't want to move. So, oh. And so, once again, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to, like, blast the air conditioning so that I can just wear this. So good. Okay. Make and model sweatpants. They're super light. Super, super light. But they're soft. They feel so nice on. These are blue with little stars on them. I thought it was such a cute detail. They were $30 for the sale. They're normally $45. Like, make and model pants are not cheap. And then short girl over here. I love that it has the banded bottom so it'll stay at your ankle and just pull if it's too long um, because somebody may have once broken their toe because it got caught in the leg of their pajamas because they were too long. Like the pajamas, my toe caught on it and stuck and my body went and my toe didn't and I broke a toe. So now I try for things like this that I can't get wrapped around my foot by accident. I've gotten the weirdest injuries. So anyway, these super light, super comfy, very happy to add them to the collection. It was hard to only buy one and not two or three. This is what I like to call my first day of school outfit. So when I used to go to the Nordstrom sale as a kid, um, I remember as early as, I should say as a teen, I remember junior high, I distinctly remember going before sixth grade with my mom and then we went every year after and I would always get one thing that was kind of like, oh, that is the first day of school outfit. That is the outfit for the first day of school. And the last couple of years at the sale, I've had things that were cute or like a skirt here, a, some, you know, a pair of boots there, but no like complete outfit. This year, I have a first day of school outfit. So this is the skirt. It's so freaking adorable. This is by 1901, which to me is essentially Nordstrom's version of J. Crew, which is weird because they now sell J. Crew, but it's always by the J. Crew because it looks like J. Crew. So it's this cute skirt, buttons down the front, really cute floral pattern. And then this super cute, it's a very thin, which is nice here in California, very thin sweater with buttons down the back, which I'm telling you, if you unbutton this, this, if you wore it this way, it's like the cardigans all of us wore in junior high and high school when we were like imitating Clueless and 10 Things I Hate About You, um, but you wear it this way, and so it's got that button detail down the back, but together, I mean, so cute, so cute. If you know what that's from, please, please write it in the comments. That's so cute. I'm so excited about that. I think it's adorable. Last bag. Oh my gosh. I did not do that the right way. You'd think I'd never worked retail, but I have. So first, Brass Plum just had some really good, like, long, really thin tees for 11 bucks each. So I picked up a nice little green and just a white one because I just love getting new white shirts. So grab those. Okay. Y'all, this is the thing that I'm gonna have to try on for you and show it on Instagram and tell me what you think. This is a Vince Camuto jumpsuit. And it's got this cute tie front. It comes real low. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about that um, because I'm just not that girl. So comes real low. I don't know where I'm wearing this. So I'm going to leave it, but this is why you buy because this is probably going to be sold out in two days because there were not a lot of them. And it was just fun. I have no clue where I'm wearing a red jumpsuit. Like I'm not showing up to, to work in higher education in this. It's not happening. So I don't know where I'm wearing this but I just loved it so much. It was like, just buy it, give it a little time, let it breathe. If you don't like it, you return it. Um, but I'll try it on. I wanted to also bring it home, try it on with Spanx and everything and see what I, see what I really think of it. This might be 
it's up there with one of the best things I bought. So this is a sweater from Ted Baker. I've never had Ted Baker clothes before. I always love Ted Baker. This is a Kelly Green sweater. I love, I love a Kelly Green. Um, so this is a Kelly Green sweater with this cute detail. It goes over both shoulders of this embroidery, and then the embroidery comes down on this side, so I like that, that it's not all matchy-matchy. Um, but it was just so cute, and I like that it's not a heavy sweater, so it'll go for a while, like, once again in California, I don't need anything too, too heavy, so love, love this. And for Ted Baker, this was on sale for $144, it's normally $213. Okay, so that's a super good deal. And this this is such like a statement thing and a color that's never going to go away that if I treat it right, it'll last me a long time. This is an Eliza J dress that is the cutest thing you've ever seen on in your life. Um, I just have one issue. It's a, in front, it's a, they say high-low, but it's really a, no, I guess it is. High-low, it's a high-low front. Um... And I don't quite like where the size I tried on hit in front. I want to see it once again with Spanx, with heels, all of it to get the full picture. So because of that, I bought it in two sizes. So one of these is going back. Um, so I'm going to try it on with the whole shebang and see which one is better. Because also the one I tried was like it fit, but it fit perfect. It's like if I gain half a pound is it not going to work anywhere anymore so I'm just going to try both and decide okay I got this halogen top it's just kind of like ruched um it's got a nice little keyhole detail in back and I liked this because once again I can wear this with black pants to work and I've got a really nice dress top for work so happy about that this is going to look like nothing but it was super cute this was from Brass Plum it's just this cute little gray waffle, I don't know if you can tell, it's a waffle weave sweater. I like little detail, nice little V in back instead of a rounded neck, V neck front, and then it does this little tie thing. And it just looks super, super cute on. It'd be cute with like a plaid shirt under it, it'd be cute with just one of those long tees under it. Um, so really nice little layering piece, but love that for fall. These next two things are so me, everyone, like my mom and our shopper were making fun of me because they're like, yeah. So this too, I picked up in Brass Plum because I was like, oh my gosh, my high school years are back. It is a green flannel and I should really say junior high. This forest green color was everywhere. Like this muted forest green was everywhere when I was in junior high and then it disappeared for 20 years and now it's back. Um, so I picked it up just because I was like, oh, that's funny. It reminds me of then. But I actually ended up really liking it on. And if you notice, like it goes from a thin pattern to a thicker plaid, to a thinner plaid, to a thicker plaid. So it has some dimension, but it was really cute on. It's from Billabong. So once again, I bought a size up because that's like a junior size. I want a little bit bigger. Um, but it looked cute on. It'll be great for fall layered over stuff. So I was happy. And then this. I love anything that looks like it should be like something of like a collegiate varsity, you know, rugby team sort of thing. So this long cardigan with the very like varsity collegiate details of the stripe around it, or like this should be in your house colors, um, I grabbed this. I'm obsessed. This is like all my favorite things combined because <laughs> I love a long cardigan. I love gray. And I love anything with that, like, collegiate Ivy League details. Um, that's what I call it. So, pick this up. This is halogen, and this was 60. Would be 90. Um, so, this is just going to be really cute over a lot of stuff all, all winter, fall, fall, winter on. And with that, we are done. Um, no purses this year. If you bought a bag, let me know because, man, that section looked boring, so I didn't get anything. Um, and lastly, shout out to Rachel. I highly doubt she made it this far, but Rachel, our personal shopper, thank you for sticking with my mom and I as we just went to town. Um, but that is it for this video. Like I said, descriptions of everything will be, and links to everything will be in the description box below. 
please use those links. It's easy on Nordstrom.com. They make it so, so easy with for you, and they give you all the, like, sizing measurements, so it's great. Um, leave comments in the description, or why do I say leave comments in the description box? Leave comments below of what you picked up. What was your favorite thing you picked up at the sale? Please let me know in the comments because sale is still going. I might be purchasing a couple more things like those Sam Edelman's in black. Um, but yeah, with that, we're done. So give this video a thumbs up if you love the Nordstrom anniversary sale and these types of hauls. Um, share this video with your friends. Be sure they know that there is a place for them on YouTube. 30 somethings do exist here, so come join us. And with that, you should be getting suggestions of other videos I think you'd like. So please keep watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.